The coconuts are first roasted for 12 hours over a fire. Then they're sold to factories that turn them into coconut oil. The family needs the money to buy food. It's how everyone here in San Juan in the Philippines makes a living. The coconut plantations are behind the village. The plantations are actually illegal. The rainforest was cleared to make way for them. Madeline Escoro shows us why the village is dependent on the coconut plantation. A year ago, the locals still cultivated cassava here, but the plants were wiped out by disease caused by the rise in temperatures. Another casualty of climate change. Bernd Markus Liss explains that the destruction of the rainforest is also contributing to climate change. He works for the German international aid agency GIZ and is trying to encourage a new approach to the rainforest. His project assigns plots of land in the rainforest to local residents so that they then may cultivate legally. In return, they have to replant trees. 40 kilometers to the north, the residents of the village of Sitio have already been assigned a plot of land. They can cultivate fruit there and are even permitted to log a tree or two. They began replanting trees on the hill several years ago. This tree, which was planted three years ago, is almost three meters tall. This will be a lovely forest again someday. Many of the families have lived off the rainforest for generations. But meanwhile, the rainforest has nearly disappeared, so local residents have been forced to learn ways of survival. When I was young, my parents chopped down trees, just like all the families here. We needed the money for food. Now we're trying to repair the damage by planting trees. The work in the forest helps the people of Sitio earn a living. Elena Gallo earns money by planting trees. It's enough to make a real difference for her family. Recently, they were able to buy a small rice field. And now, they have a television too. A lot has changed for us. Before, I was just a housewife. Now I work planting trees almost every day. With the money I earn, we've been able to renovate our house. It used to be just a shack made of wood. Now we have stone walls and a new sofa and everything. Others in the village have followed suit. They know that helping preserve the rainforest also helps their families. <laughs>